my top 50 ultimate team legends we did not see in Madden 22 that I want to see in Madden 23. I'm going to start out by saying a lot of these players are from about the 2005 range to the 2015 ranges. That is what I grew up watching in the NFL. So you're not going to see a ton of really, really old school players starting out at 50 with Eddie George. We last saw him in Madden 21 as a team captain. John Elway felt like he was always in the ultimate teams early on, at least when I started playing in 12, 13, and 25. And he kind of got phased out of ultimate team. Pat Tillman, former Mutt Master at 47. We've got Will Shields, of course. That great, great offensive line in the early 2000s for my Kansas City Chiefs. Warren Moon, Hall of Famer. We haven't seen him as quite frequently in Ultimate Team. He was always in the Maddens in Madden 15, 16. I want to say he was lastly in Madden 18 or 19. Brett Favre was a meta, meta quarterback back in Madden 21 with his the 50 card. Chris Carter, of course, teammate of Randy Moss. Gene Upshaw. One of the greatest offensive linemen of all time. We got John Madden on the cover. Gene Upshaw played for John Madden when they won those Super Bowls. Let's get him back in the game. Jared Allen. We have not seen him since he did retire. Jason Wynn, of course, tight end for the Cowboys. He was on the Raiders for a year after he came out of retirement, but now is back in retirement. I think he what he was on Monday Night Football. I don't know if he is anymore. Gale Sayers was in Madden 21. Uh, not the 50 program, the NFL 100 program. Sorry, I'm going to get those mixed up a lot in this video. D'Angelo Hall. No, I wouldn't really consider him a legend. So you would say, but I had to get 50 players in the Angelo Hall, of course, probably most famously known for getting his ankles kind of, you know, with the Andre Hopkins hard knocks in like 2015. But the Angelo Hall, we had to put him in the list. Derek Brooks, one of the best outside linebackers of all time, but more known for his coverage, rather his pass rushing ability. Deacon Jones, here's one of the old school players back from the 1960s. Of course, on that fearsome foursome from the Rams back then. Got Andrew Luck, formerly retired. Hopefully he comes back. I don't know. It's... He's in a weird predicament. I don't know. He would pretty much have to come back, I think, in the last year or two. Otherwise, it would be too much or too big of a gap for Andrew Luck to come back from retirement. Adam Pacman Jones, another one of those players where I wouldn't really consider an NFL legend, maybe more of an ultimate team legend. I fondly remember he had a flashback card in Madden 15 that I love to use. Dallas Clark was in Madden, so I felt like every single year. Hasn't been in the past few years. Another tight end, Kellen Winslow Sr., of course. Not Kellen Winslow Jr. We don't want him in Madden forever. Reasons Marvin Harrison, one of the best receivers to play with Peyton Manning. We're going to get some offensive alignment now out of the way. Marshall Yond, of course, formerly just retired, felt like with the Ravens only a year or two ago. Nick Mangold, one of my favorite, I guess, offensive linemen growing up, always was on the Jets. It was like him and Revis were the two best players on the Jets from like 2007 to 2013. Orlando Pace and Jonathan Ogden from UCLA. Brian Urlacher, middle linebacker, I would say him. You had like John Beeson, maybe another middle linebacker. Soon to come on this list, but Brian Urlacher, Asante Samuel was in the game in Madden 20. I know it's a team diamond. I'm not sure if he was in the game for Madden 21. Emmett Smith feels like Madden the community has been asking for an Emmett Smith card every single year. And it's like he's in, he's out. Feels like every other year Emmett Smith is in the game. Although I think he may be a little bit overrated in terms of the greatest running backs of all time. Emmett Smith, we want to see him in the game. James Harrison felt like he played for 25 years. He would dead what he would squat 500 pounds and when he will i don't know james harrison an absolute menace on the field clinton portis i think most famously known for what wearing his helmet in interviews that's how i always remember clinton portis the miami the u clinton portis into the redskins another redskin daryl green one of the fastest players in nfl history was in the game in madden 19 i think that was the only year he's actually been in ultimate team so it'd be nice to see him back on the field of course speed always runs madden ultimate team start in terms of the meta john randall one of the best interior defensive linemen of all time. Marshall Falk, the head of, I'd say, the greatest show on turf with Kurt Warner. Isaac Bruce, and who is, I can't remember, I, I'm, I'm blanking on the other. Torrey Holt, Torrey Holt was the other player from the greatest show on turf. Steve Young, you see Joe Montana every year. Steve Young, probably more of a meta quarterback in the ultimate team in terms of, he is a little more speed, but he's a left-handed quarterback. And some people don't like to use left-handed quarterbacks in Madden. Terrell Davis, what, undrafted, one of the only undrafted players. I don't know if he's, he's not in the Hall of Fame yet. He's trying to get in the Hall of Fame, I think. Terrell Davis, Denver Bronco, another Denver Bronco. We actually have two more in a row. Steve Atwater, one of the hardest hitting cities of all time. Some would say Christian Okoye's father, Shannon Sharp, one of the greatest Titans of all time. Of course, Skip and Shannon is what he's probably most famously known for now in terms of just like sports media, that sort of thing. Maurice Jones drew my personal favorite player. I know this is high up. Maurice Jones drew was my personal favorite player before Patrick Mahomes came into life out of came into my life out of UCLA MJD. Eric Berry, of course. Beater, survivor of Hoskins lymphoma back on a Saint 2016, 2017. Unfortunately, kind of had a rough ending to his career. Kansas City Chief OJ Simpson, although 
probably never going to see him in a game. Would be cool to see, you know, one of the greatest seasons ever in 1973 at 2,000 yards, only 14 games. Julius Peppers. I think we get Julius Peppers every single year. We didn't get him last year for some reason. I don't know why. Get him back in the game. He is one of the best, I'd say, just... Well, like you can use him as a user, as a pass rusher. Julius Peppers, amazing in real life, amazing in Madden. Demarius Thomas, rest in peace. Let's get him the get, get him in the game. Find a way, EA, to reach out to his family. It'd be a great way to continue his legacy onwards. Antonio Cromartie, we're cracking into the top 10. Antonio Cromartie, what he has, I want to say, with Philip Rivers, Antonio Cromartie's got like 15 kids. I uh, love his cards in Madden every single year. Good combo of height, speed, Chargers, Jets, Cardinals theme teams for him. Arian Foster, an underrated running back of all time, because running backs really don't get to play a lot. I almost, I you know what, player I forgot that I would love to get a legend card, although it maybe be a little bit too soon. Todd Gurley, running backs, lifespan wise, is like they got three to four years of prime, I'd say peak performance in the NFL. Arian Foster, his one cut, absolutely disgusting. T.O. Terrell Owens, don't know why he is not in Madden every year. He is a staple in terms of one of the greatest wide receivers, greatest players of all time. He's been on the cover of Madden. He should be in the game every single year. Steve Smith, one of my personal favorite players of all time. I love the short receiver. Steve Smith gives me shades. Well, of Sky Moore, new Kansas City Chiefs wide receiver. That you know, that shorter, that 5'11, 5'10 size, but they play bigger than their size on the field. LaShawn Shady McCoy, one of the most elusive running backs of all time. We're now into the top five. Rod Woodson should be an ultimate team every single year should never be taken out was a great cornerback then kind of transitioned to safety in the second half of his career on the ravens well he wasn't the steelers ravens and i think he also played for the raiders at one point champ bailey one of the greatest corners of all time need him in the game broncos was on the saints end of his career but he's then for bronco one of the greatest corners of all time another corner i wouldn't really say is above champ bailey in terms of in real life greatness namdi asamoah i love his cards in madden every single year way six one six two six three always great height and on that Raiders theme team it was in Madden Madden 21 I want to say in Madden 20 as a team diamond Patrick Willis at number two growing up Patrick Willis was the most feared even though Ray Lewis was I think probably would be considered greater than Patrick Willis. Patrick Willis to me was the best middle linebacker I ever saw a play growing up from like 2007 to 2013 on those great Niner teams when John Harbaugh took over Patrick Willis I love him love him get him back in Madden at number one from my Kansas City Chiefs the running back with the record of what the best yards per carry of all time at like 5.4 it's a disgusting disgusting number one of the fastest running backs of all time Jamal Charles we saw him back in Madden 21 for some reason he like never really got a better card I think in Madden 21 wasn't in Madden 22 I want to see him back give him a running back card he should be one of the fastest running backs in the game at any point throughout the year but those are my 50 legends I'm excited for Madden 23 I don't put down in the comments who you want to see in Madden 23 that was not in Madden 22. I don't want to see no Jerry Rice, no Bo Jackson. I want to see some new legends, some new legends for Madden 23. We're going to get the first what reveal of like six or seven legends for launch weekend, probably next the following Friday. So a week or a week and a day or eight days from when you're watching this video, we'll get to see the new legends or the launch legends for Madden 23. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the custom card. I actually had a blast making these. Uh, yeah, this video was actually really, really fun to make. I didn't really actually plan on making this video. Comment down below any legends you want to see. Like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you are new. And until next time, peace.